Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about physiology of testosterone. So let us see about the synthesis of testosterone. Testosterone is the major androgen synthesized and secreted by Leydig cells. Luteinizing hormone increases testosterone synthesis by stimulating cholesterol desmolase which is the first step in the synthesis of testosterone from cholesterol. Accessory sex organs like prostate contain 5 alpha reductase which converts testosterone to dihydrotestosterone which is the active form of testosterone. An applied aspect is that 5 alpha reductase inhibitors like finasteride are used in the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia because they block activation of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone in prostate. Now let us see about the regulation of testis. Hypothalamic control is by gonadotropin releasing hormone. Arcuate nuclei of hypothalamus secrete gonadotropin releasing hormone into hypothalamic hypophyseal portal blade. GnRH stimulates anterior pituitary to secrete follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Now let us see about regulation at the level of anterior pituitary. This is by means of FSH and LH. FSH acts on Sertoli cells to maintain spermatogenesis. Sertoli cells also secrete inhibin, which is involved in negative feedback of FSH secretion. LH acts on Leydig cells to promote testosterone synthesis. Testosterone acts via an intratesticular paracrine mechanism to reinforce spermatogenic effects of FSH in Sertoli cells. I will be summarizing all these in a diagram later in the video. Now let us see about negative feedback control in regulation of testis. Testosterone and inhibin are involved in negative feedback control. Testosterone inhibits secretion of LH by inhibiting release of GnRH from hypothalamus and by directly inhibiting release of LH from anterior pituitary. Inhibin which is produced by Sertoli cells inhibits secretion of FSH from anterior pituitary. Now let us see about the actions of testosterone. Differentiation of epididymis, vas deferens, and seminal vesicles. Pubertal growth spurt. Cessation of pubertal growth spurt by epiphyseal closure. Libido. Spermatogenesis in Sertoli cells by paracrine effect. Deepening of voice. Increased muscle mass. Growth of penis and seminal vesicles. Negative feedback on anterior pituitary are the various actions of testosterone. Now let us see about the actions of dihydrotestosterone. Differentiation of penis, scrotum and prostate. Male hair pattern. Male pattern baldness. Sebaceous gland activity. And growth of prostate are the various actions of dihydrotestosterone. Now let us summarize what we have learnt with the help of this diagram. Hypothalamus secretes GnRH which stimulates the anterior pituitary to secrete FSH and LH. FSH stimulates the Sertoli cells of testis to secrete inhibin and spermatozoa. Inhibin is involved in the negative feedback control mechanism. LH stimulates the Leydig cells of testis to secrete testosterone. Testosterone is involved in negative feedback control mechanism and it also stimulates Sertoli cells of testis. Testosterone is converted into dihydrotestosterone. Both of these are involved in virilization. Dihydrotestosterone is involved in the development of primary and secondary sexual characteristics and male pattern balding. It is also involved in the pathogenesis of benign prostatic hyperplasia. Now let us see an applied aspect of this. Androgen insensitivity disorder. It is also known as testicular feminizing syndrome. It is caused by deficiency of androgen receptors in target tissues of males. So, testosterone and dihydrotestosterone actions in target tissues are absent. So, there are female external genitalia which is the default and there is no internal genital tract. Testosterone levels are elevated due to lack of testosterone receptors in anterior pituitary that is due to lack of feedback inhibition. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. 
for more such videos please check out my playlists if you like my videos kindly subscribe your subscription will encourage me to make more videos thank you